this is Randy Kirk, and I have been bringing you a series of videos on how to optimize your Google Places ranking, how to uh, get your Google Places ranking and your now merged Google Plus local ranking, how to get all that uh, squared away and make sure that you're uh, highly visible online uh, for your small business. Uh, this is the fourth in the series. And um, uh, if you haven't seen the previous three, uh, you're, you should be able to see my Google channel or my, my YouTube channel right now from where you are. Just uh, ch check it out and you'll see the previous three. And maybe if uh, it's uh, uh, later in July uh, or early August, maybe all 10 of them are up and you can, you can go right through them and check all 10 of them out. Uh, in any case, who am I and why do I believe I should be doing these videos on how to rank uh, well, let's let's take a look here. Uh, let's do a quick search for Google Places ranking factors. Um, and uh, in the first three videos, I used different keywords each time. And and as I explained, uh, if you were in the business that I'm in, and maybe you are, some of you are uh, uh, marketing consultants that are helping small business to get highly ranked. Um, if you're in that business, then you would want to have uh, these keywords. You would want to rank on this page. Uh, preferably number one. Uh, I'm, I'm not number one on this page, uh, but uh, I am on this page. Let's take a look here. David Mim gets number one and number two. Uh, David, of course, is uh, one of the guys who is the best known in this industry. He puts out a phenomenal annual rankings uh, service that comes out in, uh, in, in uh, July, I mean June rather, which is free and which you can go take a look at. Just look up uh, David's uh, uh, blog and you can see that the, the, the the product, and, and I am a, uh, he's my mentor. Uh, he, he doesn't know me. Well, he kind of knows me, but but, <laughs> but he probably doesn't really, we're not friends uh, necessarily. We're, we're on the same Google Plus uh, circle, but, but uh, and, we, and we have had conversations that way. But in any case, uh, he, he's my mentor uh, just through his writings. Um, we have uh, other people here, visible, very top people. Not sure I know these folks, but they may be great. But anyway, if you come down here, uh, number six on this one, I think, uh, number six, yeah, number six, is a pr prior video of mine from uh, March where I was talking about being suspended uh, for uh, in inappropriate use of certain ranking factors. And uh, you, obviously that uh, video is still available and is on the channel. You can go take a look at that. Um, so uh, on this, a very, very critical keyword uh, among my peers um, among people who all know how to rank and, and, and know what, the, what, the, what SEO is and, and how critical it is and, and, and what the methods are that are going to get you to the top of the page. Uh, he, on this particular one, I'm, I'm ranking uh, below the fold, sadly. Uh, you know, maybe I'll have to work on that, see if I can get that particular keyword fixed. But I'm, I'm plenty happy to be uh, number six among this particular group of folks. Uh, and as you've seen on some of the prior keywords, like Google Places Expert, uh, Google Local Expert, I was ranked number one and number two. So anyway, um, moving right along, what is the fourth most important thing that you need to know to make sure that you're going to be ranked highly, not just today, but three months from now, six months from now, a year from now? What's going to make you uh, get great rankings? So let's take a look at uh, an, uh, 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 one of my clients. I'm going to go to, um, we've done this one before, but I'm just going to use them again. Uh, mortgage Broker Los Angeles. And I'm using them primarily because some of my clients don't have extremely competitive keywords. I have a bakery in Ontario. It, you know, I've got number one for him on everything, um, but there's only four or five bakeries out there, and, and uh, it's not that competitive. But you can imagine there's a lot of mortgage brokers in Los Angeles, and a lot of people would like to be number one on this page or number two on this page or certainly above the fold. And... And in this case, you can see that Bill Raymond Home Mortgages is above the fold. And if we look down at Bill, uh, I, can, I can tell you that, you know, as the just previous YouTube video that we did on citations, he has tons of citations. That is affecting him. Okay, that is helping him to be highly ranked. Um, but one of the things that's helping to be highly ranked, you look here that, you know, some of these other people are way bigger than Bill. Um, you know, Crestico and CNH Financial and Northern Trust Bank and Chase Bank. You know, some of these, a lot of these people are way, way bigger. Brentwood Capital Group. Uh, Bill is a one-man show. Okay, he is a an independent uh, that works with a company, uh, uh, but but he's he himself is an independent operator, and but he's he's competing here 
um, among the first four on Los Angeles under mortgage broker. Well, that's a pretty, pretty uh, great place to be. Um, and one of the reasons for that is because he has eight Google reviews. Okay. Now, you'll notice that he is not blended yet. I don't know why they're holding up on him, but he'll probably be blended within the next week or so. Um, but he is, he's got eight Google reviews, and these eight Google reviews are excellent. Um, and I wish he had more. I push him to get more. Uh, and he has lots of fantastic clients who should be reviewing him. But it is an issue that um, you know, we all deal with as consultants, getting our clients to do lots of reviews. But he has eight. And uh, nobody else on the page uh, has any except for the first guy up here. He's got four. Um, and that is affecting ranking. Under the old Google Places routine, uh, of course, their, their reviews were given stars. You had to have at least five reviews in order for your stars to be lit. I don't have any data yet to be sure of this, but I'm going to say to you that probably you still have to have five reviews to be ranked higher than you would be with no reviews. So Bill, in this case, is being ranked partially on his reviews, partially on all the other things we're going to talk about in this series, but Bill's out of his league, so to speak, among this group. He is much more highly ranked than he should be given the size of his business, um, and that's because, partially because he has eight great reviews. Now, we want folks to get those reviews, and you can go on my blog, uh, uh, googleplaceshelp.blogspot.com, and get some recommendations and methods and, and learn how to get your client more reviews or get more reviews for your business. But it's not just about the fact that it's going to make you uh, higher in the rankings. Reviews are a great way to be uh, getting your clients to be converted, okay? Uh, if I'm going on this uh, page and I take a look, I take a quick look, and I see this guy has four, I see this guy has eight, I see nobody else with reviews, even though this guy's number one and this guy's number two, three, you know, I'm going to be inclined to take a look at these reviews. I'm making a really big decision with regard to who I choose for my mortgage broker. I may not be willing to just, you know, start at the top or even go up here to these items. Well, you've got a Yelp, uh, you've got Zillow. You know, so the, the top of the page uh, includes one website from a from a, a, a local broker in competition with my guy, but but other than that, um, you've got you've got companies who don't have very many reviews. But here's Bill with eight, uh, and this guy up here, uh, David Gelf, he's he's not listed down here at all, and so there's no reviews. So what I'm saying to you is, if I'm the consumer, I come in here, I see this guy's got eight reviews, that's going to make me more inclined to click on Bill Raymond and find out more about him, find out what people have said about him, and it may be the very, the very factor that causes me to convert. So in this very highly competitive location, above the fold with eight reviews, uh, Bill's phone is ringing. I got to tell you something. Uh, he's got plenty of business right now. He'd like to have yours as well, of course. There's never too much, but it is, uh, it is amazing uh, how highly we've gotten him ranked and part of that is because of reviews. So get lots of reviews so that you rank higher. Get lots of great reviews so that you get more conversions. That takes us to the end of number four. Um, if you haven't uh, uh, subscribed to my channel yet, you want to subscribe to this channel. I'm always putting out these kind of handy uh, do-it-yourself type of uh, videos. Uh, if you subscribe, once a week you're going to get um, a notification from uh, YouTube saying that there's something else up. Uh, if I put something else up that week. And um, you're going to know uh, to come back and take a look at, at what my next, uh, re my next YouTube video might be about. Um, if you are a small business owner and you're not sure how to get these reviews done, you're not sure what techniques can be used to get the reviews, or let's say you've got some bad reviews uh, and, you, and you don't know how to respond to them. You, in fact, you didn't even know you could respond to them. You didn't know there was ways to uh, solve that. My company, Randy Kirk and Associates, does reputation management in addition to all the other things that we do both online and off for our clients. And so if you've got negative reviews, uh, we know what to do with those negative reviews. Uh, we can help you and we're not nearly as expensive as some of the guys that are charging thousands of dollars a month to help people with reputation management. Uh, we don't charge a thousand dollars a month and we do everything. So give us a call and uh, we'd be happy to uh, talk to you about your business uh, uh, look us up at our, our two blogs, uh, helpforsmallbusiness.blogspot.com and 
uh, googleplaceshelp.blogspot.com. Uh, thanks for listening. Look forward to the next time uh, with number five out of the top ten. <laughs>